Hi everybody, in this video I want to talk about the problem with the finance YouTube space. Or rather, my frustrations with YouTube videos about investing in the stock market in general. It really has to come down to the nature of YouTube and the nature of investing. Let's talk about the nature of YouTube first. On YouTube, there's a bunch of content creators who put out videos, right? And if we're talking about videos on investing in the stock market in general, especially in 2020, there were a lot of videos that produced very sensationalized content. They tried to make their content seem very shocking and, you know, their thumbnails would contain a picture of them going like this, you know? <laughs> and YouTube rewards this because... That type of content does draw people in. It really does get people to view their video because people go on YouTube in order to be entertained. And what's entertaining is very shocking or sensationalized content. YouTubers would make videos about the next stock that's going to 10x or 100x. Or, you know, how they made a bunch of gains in a short amount of time, etc, etc. That type of content draws people in, it gets views, and if you have a monetized YouTube channel, YouTube will reward you with more ad revenue. So, content creators, they are, they, you know, they're encouraged to make that type of content. And make more money from it because that's what people want to see. They want to be entertained by really shocking content. However, let's talk about the nature of investing. If someone were to ask me what advice I would give to most people in general in terms of investing in the stock market, a really solid strategy is just putting your money in an index fund and then sitting back and doing nothing. However, that's very boring and people who go on YouTube to watch videos, they don't want to watch boring content. They want to see the videos that talk about the next stock that's going to 100x and how to make a million dollars in a day. You know, they want to see that. They want to be entertained by that. But if we're talking about actual investing, the nature of investing is in my opinion, really boring. It's you're not, and most, it's just crazy to me. Most people are not gonna 100x their account in one day. They're not gonna make a million dollars in a week. But that's the type of content that gets views. And that's what I mean by the nature of YouTube and the nature of investing clashing because YouTubers are encouraged to make very sensationalized, Shocking content, while at the same time, investing in the stock market is supposed to be really boring for most people. Of course, there are going to be those people who have very risk, high risk tolerance and they want to get into options and things like that. But for most people, they just want to set it and forget it. And another thing that I think is a problem is that People aren't honest about the nature of the stock market. They make it look like there's a way to get guaranteed gains and everything is easy. Just buy and hold and wait for the squeeze. That's not necessarily how things work. I rarely see people who are trying to get the most amount of views make videos about how risky the stock market is. Let's take a look. I want to show this, right? This is Netflix. Netflix is not a small company. It's a big company. It's a big, well-known company. And look what happened. It was above $500. And then bam, all of a sudden 300 something right now is at 382 down 26.55% in the past week. Imagine investing your money and then just suddenly being down 
over 25% in a week. That's what could happen in the stock market. And this is just stocks. I'm not even talking about options, which are even riskier. Even if you're investing in stocks, it's still super risky. Or it can be. These things happen. And unfortunately, a not a lot of YouTubers are really honest about the stock market and its risks. Let's look at another one, Affirm. This is one that I've been watching for a while now. Right now, Affirm is at $56.50. And I've been paying attention to this and where it's been going, you know? Look at what's happened in the past year. It went all the way down to like $48.37. Below $50. Then it ran up to like more than triple that much. $168. And now look where it's at. Back down to around 50. <sighs> Do you see what I'm saying here? People need to be honest about the stock market and how volatile it could be. It's not all fun and games. You can't just dump all your money into the stock market, then expect easy gains and then to 10x your money in, in a week, you know? But that's what a lot of videos that I saw were about and it's really frustrating to see that because those videos were actually getting the views <laughs> they were actually getting a lot of views i scroll through youtube i see these type of videos that are sensationalizing you know promoting the, the next 10x stock the next 100x stock and they were getting the views they were getting the ad revenue YouTube was rewarding this type of behavior. Meanwhile, people who are actually talking about and showing how risky the stock market could be, they don't really get rewarded because that type of content is boring as hell. And me personally, if I had to choose between the two, I would rather present boring information that shows how things actually are than to pretend like the stock market is easy 10x gains in a short amount of time. That's just not how it is. But that's something that really frustrates me about the finance YouTube space. People making really sensationalized videos and getting rewarded for it because at the end of the day, that's what people want to see. They want to be entertained. Can you really blame them, though? I mean, right now, the, pandem the pandemic is still going on. Perhaps some people are working from home or they're staying home a lot, and they want to spend their time getting entertained on the Internet. And these sensationalized type of videos provide that entertainment and I understand that part but I do value people learning about the stock market and seeing things for what they really are I think that's important too and I mean me personally <laughs> I mean I showed my account going from over 70k down to like 7k so obviously I have no problem showing how risky and how volatile the stock market can be. Now, the thing is, I don't think I will ever produce that type of content, or at least not to the point where I'm trying to trick people into thinking that the stock market is something that it's not. That's something that I don't want to really do. If I present my content, even if I know that it's boring, in my opinion, perhaps stock market investing information and content should be boring. Maybe people should calm down a bit and not, you know, get way too excited about it. Because the reality is it can be risky. A stock can triple and then it could go right back down to where it was before so yeah 
that's I just wanted to share my thoughts and my frustrations about this space. And I can understand different sides and, you know, why they do the things that they do. But it does still frustrate me the way that things are. It is what it is. Anyways, I just wanted to make this video to share my thoughts. And I hope you guys liked it. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys next time. Bye.